It's where high tech meets very high IQs, right here at the newest building at U of T's downtown campus. And it's for the University of Toronto's engineering students. And we got a sneak peek before the sneak peek at the brand new My Hall Center. The advantage of this building is that we're so right now we're really scattered in different buildings. And uh, this kind of brings all the different divisions of our team together, whether it's the rocketry team, the satellite team, the drone teams. And it really gives us the space to work on all of our electronic stuff, use a share equipment, uh, get a, a more high quality quality experience on the team overall. You can say up, down, forward, backward, turn left, turn right, do a circle, whatever okay. you want. For the work that you're doing here with drones, how does this space help out? Well, first of all, as you can see here, it's a two-story um, room. So um, when you're flying drones, it's very useful to have um, a two-story room because the drones will be able to fly in um, very high height. In the state-of-the-art fabrication facility, the most efficient speed bike in the world is being fine-tuned. Last year, the student-built bike traveled an incredible 127 kilometers an hour, powered only by Calvin Moses' pedaling feet. You can see here, um, instead, of, uh, instead of looking through a window or looking directly at the road ahead, I look at the, this pair of screens. And then there's a, a camera that sits just behind my head right up here and shows me the road ahead. Now the reason we do that is to make it more aerodynamic. Aerospace students are working with the most high-tech material. We have fiberglass, carbon fiber, and Kevlar. Only two of those ribbons can take the full brunt of that weight, no problem. Each of these is thinner than a human hair. And while Calvin is hoping to pedal his way to a world record on the speed bike next month, the aerospace team is working on a rocket that will travel more than 50,000 feet into the air, breaking a Canadian record. So you're getting a lot of hands-on experiences to aid your actual education, and so it's going to be great for the future generations and for this facility overall because it's going to be the place where we build parts for this kind of record-breaking project. The building will officially be up and running in a couple of weeks when U of T welcomes its students back this fall and they'll hold an open house here on September 13th. At the new My Hall Center, Tammy Sutherland, City News.